San Jacinto is one of the oldest municipalities in the province of Aspati located in the island of Ticao. It is considered as the modern municipality of the other three municipalities situated in the island, namely Monreal, San Fernando, and Patuan. It is in this municipality that the local folks celebrate the day of Nuestra Señora de Candelaria, or also known as Tiganghilan. It may not be as colorful and as grand as the Atitian of Aklan, Sinulug of Zebu, Kadayawan of Davao, and Ibalong of Bicol because of limited promotion and publication. Tiganghilan has become part of San Jacinto Fox religious and festivities since the time Catholicism was established in the municipality. Yearly, San Jacinto Fox from all walks of life would look forward to the gatherings of Angelitos and Angelitas. In the afternoon of February 1, parents bring their little children to church bringing with their some eggs of hen as offerings, as appreciation for their generosity. The priest also gives medals which the Angelito and Angelita will wear in the morning of February 2. As the Tig Angilan celebration held on February 2, the San Jacinto Parish Church added more attraction the day before the main event of festivities. Let's watch this. Festivity has continuously lured tourists from nearby municipalities, even legitimate residents of San Jacinto who are now working and living in some provinces in our country still find time to visit the municipality so they can make their little children quail egg as a gift to the priest. San Jacinto, Ga 
clothed in white clothes and crowned with flowers made of papel de japon, the children are brought to the church in the morning of February 2, bringing with their bread locally known torta, unleavened bread, neatly arranged in the decorative navy basket and the big candles which they offer for a mass blessing. After the religious rite, these things are kept for future use to their younger brothers and sisters when they participate in the same religious ceremony. Following the Gregorian calendar, researchers rated that the 40th day after the birth of Jesus Christ on December 24 falls on February 2, which is the day of the celebration. History as is that Reverend Father Antonio de Rivera, San Jacinto's parish priest in 1722, is believed to have introduced this religious practice to the municipality in a very dramatic way so we could have clear and full understanding of the religious belief. <laughs> Candles are seldom lighted, only during a special occasion. Beliefs also have it that these are used to drive away by the spirits. The metal parts are also used to cure snake bites and skin diseases. After the celebration, the family goes home and eats together together with their prepared meals for breakfast in the newly blessed torta which is equally divided among the members of the family by its head part of the bread is given to their neighbors or their relatives and friends in the farm farmers are believed to have a good harvest if crumbs of torta are mixed with their seedlings Because of its religious significance, there was a proposition during Marcos regime that February 2 be declared as a special holiday of San Jacinto, only here in Ticao. The Tig Angelan celebration here in San Jacinto Masbate is based on the presentation of child Jesus in the temple. According to the Gospel, Mary and Joseph took the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem 40 days after his birth to complete Mary's ritual of purification after childbirth and to perform the redemption of the firstborn son in obedience to the Torah. <laughs> If this is realized, who knows that this might become another frequently visited and attended festival in our country and is asked through Christ our Lord and intercession of the Virgin Mary. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.